What's up, everybody, and welcome to episode one of the ladies. In today's episode, we're talking about the fatal eight. The prize mentality. What I mean by that is, I'm the prize, you know, seek me, I'm the gold, I'm the treasure. And when you find me, I want you to take your shoes off, walk across bottle, broken bottle of glass, walk across ashes, you know, bend over backwards, break your neck, you know, for me. Because the goal is for you to win me over. You're an asset. You are a, a person of value. You know, um, you bring something to the table. You should be bringing something to the table. You know, but the prize is relationship. Because, I mean, think about it. Yes, you know, like I said, have your self-worth and your expectations. But to me, having those things doesn't equate you to be the prize. The prize is what you are both seeking to find which is the relationship he's looking you know hopefully you know if he's a a, a man of content you know a man a, a worthy guy you know a, you know a good guy that's something for both of you guys that's companionship that's friendship you know that's joy that's your best friend that's the person you're taking these trips with you know it's the person you boot up with when it's snowing outside or you, you know your car break down you, you, you depend on them he can depend on you are working together to keep each other happy you know, that's a prize. You know, I had a hard time trying to figure out which one I was going to talk about first. And what I saw on social media earlier today, this afternoon, I just pretty much kind of let that be the deciding factor of, okay, you know what? That's what I'm going to talk about first. That's the social media post that I saw today. You know, where... Oh, Lord, I gotta take a drink. I gotta take a sip on this one. This girl, this woman was on social media and she was like, you know, she was at the grocery store and this dude was trying to holler at her and he came across the parking lot. He was like, excuse me. Hey, yo, you know, how are you? You, you gorgeous, blah, blah, blah. And the thing about it is like, I've seen her post, you know, um, this is like the second or third time, you know, I, I've seen this. And the thing about it is I feel like, why you feel the need <laughs> to continue to share the fact that, you know, people are giving you play, you know, people are trying to talk to you, you know, or whatever. And I feel like, you know, are you, do you feel the need to validate and to explain to us that, you know, men are trying to talk to you? So then we know like, okay, well, hey, you know, apparently she's desired, men want her, you know, and so... I just don't, I just don't understand it. Like just continue to continuously do that. It's like, you know, what are you, what are you gaining out of it? Is it to convince us or to convince you that, you know, you're desirable or whatever. So, and to me, I feel like that kind of ties into this, you know, because how she responded to him, she was like, oh, you know, I got time for you, please. I'm just trying to shop. Get out my face, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, nothing that the guy said to her was rude, disrespectful, out of the way or whatever, you know. Um, you know, and maybe she didn't want to be bothered or whatever, but I just feel like, you know, you want to be sought out as the prize, you know, as the, you know, you want to be hunted, you this and the other. And then when men are trying to do that, you know, they get the, in the face, you know, like, oh, get out of my face. Aren't those the things you want to hear? Aren't those the things that you claim that you're not getting enough of? Like, I don't understand the complaint. For some reason... As soon as they open their mouths, all this attitude and sassiness comes out. And it's just like, why? You know, and I tell some friends, like, look, we go back to the parking lot, walk into the car. Don't walk with me. Walk over there. Because when he try to light you up in the parking lot. Riding around the block with a Glock. Your ass finna get shot. <laughs> That's the silence. <laughs> That's the grenade line. Because... You know, he shoot the whole parking lot or he he looking for you because it, it, stuff like that does happen. It's wrong, but stuff like that does happen. You didn't embarrass him, you know, whatever, because you have this heightened self of, or, you know, I'm the queen. I'm the, you know, the, the black woman that has been through this. I'm the least protected. I'm the this, I'm that. And it's like, to me, it's like you're playing, you know, the victim card, you know, um, 
because just like you have been through stuff, you know, the male that is pursuing you has also been, whoever's pursuing you has also been, you know, through stuff. And it's, it's making it to be where it's one-sided, where it's making it all about you, which, you know, shows that you are selfish, which is not a good trait. It's a red flag for anybody. But it's just all about you, huh? It's not about me. It's not about my desires. It's not about what I want. It's not about what I'm expecting out of a relationship or what I want, you know, in a female. You're listening to that, you know, but when you constantly talk about you, 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 and what you need and what you want, I mean, wouldn't that be a turn off? Uh, but it just shows that, you know, you're focusing on you when it should be, you know, I just feel like if both people, whether you're dating, you know, whether you're in an actual committed relationship, if you know, I'm focusing on you and you're focusing on me, then nobody's getting left out in the wind and everybody's good, everybody's taken care of. A lot of women, they're like, well, I'm going to focus on me. And I want you to also focus on me because I need an extra blanket, you know, of focusness. On one hand, you know, you think that you're communicating one thing, you know, but you're you're really communicating something else. So to me, women take their self-worth, right? Self-worth is like, you know, how you rate yourself, whether it be like your body, you're like, oh, I got a big booty, you know, I got big breasts, I got a small waist, I got a pretty face, I got gorgeous hair, I this, I that, as far as physical. But then also you combine that with like, you know, I got two master's degrees, I got the PhD, I got this, I got that, you know, I'm an RN, I whatever, whatever. So education. Three, how you rate yourself in bed. You do it right, he just might buy you a car. You know, like what you give yourself. You know, oh, I can, you know, I can do this, I can do that, but I can put it down. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, he gonna be calling me. He gonna be this. He gonna wanna go home. He gonna wanna leave. Any and everything you want me to. Put mommy on the phone. Yeah, Barbara, it's Richie. Yeah, look it, I ain't never coming home no more. Take it easy. What you expect the opposite sex? Anybody who's trying to woo you, man, woman, or whatever. You know how you expect to be treated? Take it on trips. Take out dinner. Netflix and chill. Oh, I'm sending you good morning texts, um, loyalty, faithfulness, you know, what you expect for his bank account to be looking like on the yearly, what his salary looking like, what his education look like, your expectations, you know, and how you, like I said, how you expect to be treated and their expectations. And they'd be like, minus two, add three, multiply by four, blah, 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 blah. And you get this number, you know, and I feel like everybody's biased, you know, towards themselves, you know, so you might just be, you know, a good old six, you know, but in your mind, you a nine, you know, so you add all that up together and you say, well, I'm a nine, I'm this and the other, I got, you know, two master degrees, you know, I got a 25 inch waist, my booty on 46 and, you know, my, I got double D's and I, you know, I make seventy some thousand dollars a year. I'm, I'm, I'm the, the queen with the largest crown, you know, search for me when a guy approaches you, it's like you automatically have, you know, a distorted view. There's nothing like, no reason inside your mind to not feel that, you know, you are all this and you are all that. And that's fine. Have a high self-esteem. But if you don't put a reasonable level on your standards and your expectations, then you're never going to make it to that page of, Oh, you know, you're never going to find a prize, which is the relationship, because the guy is never going to get past a certain certain line ever with you because your standards and expectations are out of universe to just be perfect. Nobody's perfect, you know, but if you don't have realistic expectations and realistic standards, who's ever going to meet them? Who's ever going to meet them? You going to date Jesus? There's a miscommunication between you know, what you think you're doing and what you're actually doing and what the men are actually perceiving it as. I consider myself to be a girl's girl. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't label me as a traitor. Be like, oh, you got a ring. You don't know what's out here. Blah, blah, blah. And me and my husband, like, you know, we sit down, we talk about, you know, we don't hide the fact that, you know, you you existed before me. I existed before you. I dated before you. You dated before me. And 
we'll like hear these stories like he'll have a, a guy friend you know he'll he, they'll talk and he'll tell him certain stuff and he'll come back and tell me you know we have our little pillow talk or i have a girlfriend that tells me this or i may set her up with somebody and she comes back and tell me whatever you know or that guy friend comes back and tell me whatever so it's coming in from all different you know directions which is why i want to do you know an episode about it. i want you to let me know if either one of these ideas that i'm saying has ever crossed your mind or do you understand what I'm saying? Can you apply it to your situation? So in the next video, we will further go down the road, you know, of the fatal seven. Number two, bad judgment. Number three, your vibe, your attitude, you know, um, your appearance, what you look like, you know, um, just how that how that the male or female, whatever sex you're trying to attract how they perceive you so just your overall vibe number four self-reflection issues number five poor listening and communication skills number six superwoman complex that's a serious one number seven packages and access i see this a lot number eight qualifications and requests that is also another big one so i hope you guys enjoyed the very first episode of the Ladies' Room podcast here on House of Fox. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Um, and don't forget to click the bell so you know when I release new videos. I'll see you guys on the next episode of the Ladies' Room here at House of Fox.